Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name is Chris and I'm here today with Brandon Yarbrough who is Crosstalk's wireless point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint expert. And we're going to take a quick look at the Microtik wireless wire. We're down here at the WeTransfer headquarters in Santa Monica, California. And uh, we got the opportunity to take a look at this device. And it's actually pretty impressive. Um, this wireless wire device is basically a pre-configured point-to-point pair of antennas. The MSRP or the cost on this is about 140 bucks. I'm not sure if that's exactly accurate. I will uh, put a link down below in the description. You guys can check this out for yourself. Uh, but what this is, is a pre-configured point-to-point device that is called the wireless wire because it works in the 60 gigahertz spectrum and provides up to one gigabit link across short distances. I'm not sure exactly, let's see. Oh, it says up to 100 meters range. Now, of course, that's probably in a perfect environment with no interference. Um, what do you know about 60 uh, gigahertz spectrum or 60, yeah, 60 gigahertz spectrum? Is it susceptible extremely, to? Extremely high bandwidth, short range, highly dependent on line of sight. From what I've done, this is the first time I've actually had my hands on a 60 gigahertz. However, they say that it can go through some windows. Haven't, haven't quite tested that yet. In our testing here today, we're going about 75 feet. Granted, in most cases, most of you guys would just be running wire in that case. However, if you're just wanting a temporary solution, you need a really high bandwidth and throughput, and don't want to take the, uh, the time to run a wire, this is definitely a great option. This particular kit says it is rain uh, resistant, so to speak. Don't know that I would trust leaving it outside for a super long time. However, um, it definitely says that you can. Yeah, it does say on here that it says uh, indoor outdoor. Um, it looks like it comes with the two radios. They're pre configured, and literally, we plug them in and then plugged in two laptops and put them in that same network, and it, it just started working it fine. Started working. So, so, we have it working. Uh, I have one over here behind the camera, uh, and then we have another one about 25 paces that way. So, we're going to flip over to the laptop and uh, see if we can't get some speed tests using iPerf uh, between these two devices. Sounds good. All right. Okay, so we're recording my screen. I've got David behind the camera. Thank you, David, for recording. And uh, we're going to run an iPerf set. Now I have uh, iPerf test, excuse me. I have my computer set up as 192.168.88.10. We have another computer on the other side set up as 192.168.88.100. And then these devices come pre-configured as 88.2 and 88.3. Okay, so we're just plugged into either side in that same subnet. Now, uh, this is set up as a server, so we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Chris from Cambium, who's actually on the other side here, uh, hit the enter button. Uh, Chris, hit it! And we'll see what results we get here. So, all right, as we can see on my screen here, we're getting about 860, 850 megabits per second across that short throw. That is actually pretty awesome. So that's 100% wireless link between two computers running in 60 gigahertz guys that's an insane amount of speed especially considering it came pre-configured you don't have to touch it out of the box yeah and you know what the other thing is um they were telling me that for an extra 40 dollar license you can make one of these a point to multi-point that will that will do up to three of the uh receiving side that would be huge if you were trying to do a uh, multi-dwelling unit where you yeah. had you wanted to share one building's internet, you had good line of sight across the rooftops, Yeah, uh, you, can, you can definitely create a nice little land that way. So let's do one more thing though, this will be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm gonna come over here, and uh, I'm gonna stand right in front of the micro -tick. Hey Chris, will you hit up and enter? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna run that test again, but now I'm blocking the signal with my body, and we can see here, what's it doing? We've gone down in speed right now to about 600 megabits per second. Uh, it, it does fluctuate a little bit. I'm gonna, do I'm gonna go a little bit closer, yeah. right here. See my button right, right in front of it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run right. this test. Hey Chris, hop in one more time. 500 megabits per second. Well, that's going through me. Right, so <laughs> still very impressive result. Um, would like to see what kind of results we get when we go through some trees. However, we're not gonna be able to run those tests yeah. on this trip. But definitely something we're probably going to go ahead and, and pick up so that we can run additional tests. On. Yeah, I mean, it's great even just to have like a pair of these on hand for, you yeah. know, any sort of emergency situation or something like that, you know, so. Definitely. All right, well, there is a look, a quick look at the uh, Microtik wireless wire. 
uh, from, from Microtech. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, along with Brandon and David behind the camera, and thank you guys so much for watching.